Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the replay viewers. Hopefully, you are having a healthy, healthy, healthy day. Hey, Big O1991, thanks for coming in. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm Elmira, your relaxation coach, licensed massage therapist with Couture Massage. Hey, KC, good morning. Hey, Cruise Storm 22, everybody is coming in this morning. Hey, 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 I'm actually here in Nashville. And what I want to talk about today, hey, Empress Legacy, thanks for coming in. What I want to talk about, because I actually utilize this in my massage practice, being psychic or being intuitive. So a lot of people are like Elmira, or they may ask you, how do you know what's going to happen before it even happens? Hey, Leanne, I believe that's Leanne. The thing is, that is a skill that has to be developed. Just like you had to learn to walk. You had to learn to play the saxophone. You had to learn how to do jewelry. We had, I had to learn how to do massage. Yes, that gift is innately in me, but there are some techniques that I needed to learn. So I'm going to share three ways to be more psychic and intuitive. And a lot of you on here probably already know this, but you may need to do them more often. The number one thing is you have to meditate and reflect. Because it, intu intuition is all about going inside. It's about knowing and being able to feel and sense the energy, knowing what the blood flow feels like, knowing when that little ping goes off in your ear, in your eye, in your stomach, whatever it is that signals you that something is right and something is wrong. The only way you're going to get there is to, hey, angel. Angel in disguise. I like it. Um, the only way you're going to get there is to meditate and reflect. That is going to take reflection on things that happen to you in the, hey, I hope you're doing well. Reflect on things that have happened this week. Reflect on things that have happened in your life last year. Why did that bad relationship end? Why did a good relationship end? What was the deal with that you couldn't get along with your dad? Why did your dad leave? All of that stuff. And I'm talking about myself because... My dad didn't live with us since the age of five. So I had to meditate and reflect on them things and figure out what were the lessons in all of that. I am always meditating and reflecting. And that, hey, sweetheart, that helps me to be more intuitive, more um, more psychic, you know, because I'm always going inward. So that's number one. You have to meditate and reflect. And meditation is not some woo-woo. You got to sit on a rock. You got to be out in the trees. Yes, you can do that. Hey, Anastasia, you can do that. But meditation can be done anywhere in your shower. It is all, what it is all about pondering and reflecting on a thought and getting clear so that you can hear the voice of God which is within you anyway number two you got to ask questions and this is not asking questions of people when you are in that meditative state you need to ask questions like I bought up the um, because God the universe will give you an answer believe it or not and you will either hear the voice clearly or something in your physical environment will change that will give you that signal and um, asking those questions means let's say my example my dad left at the age of five I can ask God the universe why did my dad leave? I don't need to go directly to him, but when I'm being psychic and um, practicing my intuition, I will get the answers that I need at that moment. Hey, President Bands. So you got to ask those important. Yes, the signs will come, won't they? Ask those important questions and no questions are stupid. Another question I've been wondering with myself, why can't I remember anything prior to the age of five? You know, ask that question and you, the answers will be revealed. Why can't I get a good job? Um, Hey, Crystal, I believe it is Christial or something like that. Why can't I get a good job? Why am I always falling and stumbling? Why is, um, why can't I move? You know, whatever the question is, you know, 
why you know why am i not making the money that i want to make whatever it is dig deep and ask those questions when you are in the meditative state so that's number two ask questions number three you need to crystal i got it um you need to be happy indoors and i'm not um yeah, relaxation. It's all about relaxation. Because you got to have a relaxed mind. You got to have a relaxed body. Hey, Ellie, last of us. Um, yeah, you got to be happy indoors. And I'm not physically, thank you for inviting the followers. I'm not talking physically about being inside, you know, watching TV. I'm talking about be happy being inside yourself. Thanks, thanks. Be happy being, and a lot of people find their happiness around other people or if they're not out at the club or they're not dating this man or dating this woman or have that fancy car or I got to have this certain jewelry I got to have on this certain makeup in order for me to be happy in order to develop your intuition and your psychic in it yes give them hand claps girl to have that intuition and that psychic um ability you have to be happy being indoors and what that mean is inside of your doors because I'm telling you, when you get that happy, them little pings will go off and you will automatically, yes, your inner self, you will automatically know when a thing, an opportunity, a person, all of that is right for you. You will be able to see stuff because I am telling y'all, people are ask me all the time with my massage. Okay, Elmira, how did like this happen the other week? Actually, last week, one of my clients was like, I was doing this stretch on her arm and she was like, I was saying in my mind that I want you to do that stretch again. And what do you know? I did it. Hey, GD Lester, because my intuition is strong. My psychic ability. Hey, KC fit for you. My psychic ability is strong because I have developed it and I'm able to use that to help heal my clients because you know healing begins within ourselves you know i'm just a conduit whatever you do as well you are just an energy conduit you can't say oh i was you know i never tell people hey bart I never tell people, oh, I fixed that, you know, I fixed their calf or I let them, you know, I got rid of their back pain. Yes, I did help get rid of their back pain with the techniques that I've learned with massage therapy, with my intuitive hands and my healing, my energy, all of that stuff. Yes, I help them heal, but you are responsible for your own healing because if you don't believe it first in your heart, your mind, your soul, you are not going to heal anyway whether you go to a doctor uh, a medical intuitive some type of guru a licensed massage therapist a chiropractor whoever if you don't believe in the healing it ain't going to happen and one way to believe in that healing first of all is to become more psychic so i'm just going to recap because i'm gonna have to go it's getting kind of sweaty in this car y'all see my skin is glistening a little bit and um i definitely invite anybody who is not already following me elmira with couture massage to go ahead and follow me because i i come on here because i'm happy yes yes sing that song um for real for real um but yeah, I invite y'all to follow me because I'm always on here sharing self-care tips, behind the scenes stuff um, with massage therapy, um, giving advice to my other licensed massage therapists and business owners. That's what I get on here and do as a recap to become more psychic. Number one. You have to meditate and reflect, and this could be a daily thing. You should always be meditating and reflecting on the things that are happening in your life and just don't say, oh, woe is me. This is always happening to me. Hey, Colt Beasy, I don't know why. I don't know why. No, reflect on that thing. You got to get on that journal, ask people, all kinds of stuff. You better get on it. Don't just sit there and complain and be negative. Take some positive action. Number two, ask questions when you you are in that prayer and meditation state ask the universe questions because the answers will reveal themselves and no question is silly and the thing is y'all know with the questions you got to ask open-ended questions otherwise you're just going to get a yes or no open-ended questions why how what 
And you should just be doing this in your daily life anyway with business opportunities, with people, with dating. Don't ask no guy. Oh, what you like to eat? No, that ain't no poignant question. I don't know what you like. I want to know what are your values. That will get that person thinking. It will, it will let you know if you have a connection. The same thing you need to do to become more psychic. Ask the right questions and you will get the right answers. It, it, there's a quote that says, if you want better answers you've got to ask better questions so do that to become more psychic ask better questions and then number three i've been trying to practice meditation what have you been doing to practice meditating it's really easy all you need to do let's say you're in your car you're in your bed you're sitting on your couch wherever you can be washing dishes and meditating all you got to do is just say i'm going to close my eyes i'm going to clear my mind and my yoga teacher actually explained it this way too there's tons of people who will tell you ways to meditate it's not even all about this highly skilled thing yes body mind connection is so good um important um but yeah, and you will see those images pass by like a movie, like movie scenes if you're you're meditating and some at some point your mind will become clear and these images will be deposited into your mind, your spirit, your soul. You know, that is the way to meditate and start out doing it for 1 minute a day. Then you can increase to 5 minutes, to 10 minutes, to an hour, whatever it is, um twice a day. Young Smith, thanks for coming in. Twice a day, whatever you need to do to um to be in balance, to know, and that's what being psychic is, knowing yourself so that you can pick up them signals from other people because we all are energetic beings. And then finally, be happy in doors. That means be happy being inside of yourself. You can be around a crowd of a thousand people and be, you know, be confident just being, you know, you can feel confident just being who you are and people are going to pick up on that energy and they will tell you, how did you know that was going to happen when it's, it's because you have developed your psychic ability. You have developed your intuition and it's something we all have. And some of us have it more than others because we were either born with it or we have developed it even more and we see the importance of it I definitely see the importance of intuition because it lets me get you know be in the the mess of the right people and I don't have to surround myself with negative energy I can automatically know when I meet somebody if they're going to be a long-term friend just based on their conversation based on their energy, based on the way they move their hands, based on looking into their eyes. Y'all know the eyes are the window of the soul. You can find out so much, but all of that is intuition and psychic ability. Yes, there is more to it because you will develop that over time and you have developed that over time, but just get in tune. It's just all about being in tune with yourself. And actually on Saturday, I had the opportunity to hear David Banner speak. If you have not heard him speak, he actually talks about um, transcendental uh, meditation from time to time. That wasn't the topic of his discussion at, at the Memphis Black Expo, but Yes, it's all about meditation because it allows you to get in tune to yourself so you can hear what God is saying. You can hear what you are saying and what you are supposed to be doing. Hey, Trini gal. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm Elmira. You are welcome to follow me. Check me out online at CoutureMassage.com. I actually have YouTube videos up. If you go to Couture Massage or you research my name, Elmira, E-L-M-I-R-A, Lofton, L-O-F, as in Frank T, as in Tom, I-N. I have videos, self-help videos teaching you how to stretch, um, all of that good stuff, self-massage, foot care, whatever you need, I got it. Until next time, make it a relaxing day and get more in tune and psychic with yourself. Goodbye, my beautiful people. Make it a relaxing day.